tube. So what have we got on the new bike? 123 kilometers. Hardly used it because I'm still not registered as I keep saying. Um, quite good this actually. It's got the time on it and everything. It's got a fuel gauge, time, gears, uh, say rev counter and speedo. So very informative on for one little piece of there. Um, yeah, the annoying part about it today is I've just got it out now for another reason, but notice straight away I have a flat tyre. You probably can't see that, but it's, it's, it's flat. It doesn't look flat when you look at it, especially on the top, <laughs> but it doesn't look flat there either when you put your weight on. Yeah, the reason it doesn't go flat like, like a car would, there's no weight on it, plus it's a hell of a tyre, so, but believe me, there's no air in it. So we've checked it, can't see any nails. Oh, we did the other day, we took it to the little run up to the, up through the lanes to where the church is and back again that's all we've done on it and we went to run Rona a couple of days before that when it was fine come back fine from the church but this is the first time I've got it out since so since Sunday it's now what is it Wednesday so it's the first day we've got it out and the tire's flat so so is just up to our brother-in-law's now to see if they're home and see if we can borrow a, a pump pump it back up and then see what's happening so the reason I got the bike out is I told you before I can't find a bigger seat for the bike and I can't find um, a replacement for this or so a rack so um, I want uh, so for the top box so what we're going to do we're going to town tomorrow so there's plenty of um, welders and um, machine engineer type people there in town so we're going to take this off just one bolt there and one bolt under there uh, same on the other side, of course. Uh, I'm going to take this with me. I've taken a picture online of one something similar to what I want, which obviously wouldn't fit this bike, but something similar that I want. And it basically comes up there like that. So it'll come along there, it'll come up there, and I'll show them that tomorrow. So when it gets there, so it's going to come over the top of the indicators there. So it's going to do the same thing. And then when it gets to there, I want it to go up, so a backrest there for Sally. Nice tall backrest on there. And then at the back, then below it, over the top of the indicator there, like that far out. Then for the for the top box, and then we're all set up. So I'm going to take that tomorrow. I can't take the ideal situation or scenario would be take the bike to town. They can see it themselves. They can get it welded. They can put it on. Job done. But I can't do that because I can't risk taking the bike to town because, like I say, it's still not registered. Um, we've had the bike now. Oh, what it would it be? Six weeks? Uh, probably, yeah, six, seven weeks now. So, um, well, since I've been in the country, really. So, yeah, so not two months yet. Then they said three to four months, like I keep telling you. So, after two months is up, so the first week of January, we're going to start pestering the shop that, that um, where we bought it from. And, um, it, like I say, for some strange reason, it doesn't come to us. It comes to them. And then it's up to them... Um, how quick they send it off and everything. So, you know, once these people have got their money, that seems to be it really. No sort of um, after sales service at all, really. They're not they're not really interested. They don't sort of think along the lines, oh, you might want another bike in a few years' time. You know, because if you get good service, after sales service, it would, you know, it would give you more confidence in the company and you would, uh, you know, want another one, maybe. Because I know they do a 350 of this, which in a few years' time is a possibility because I like the bike. But uh, it all depends on the service you get from the company you're buying them from, doesn't it? So, anyway, that's the plan. Hopefully pump the tire up in a minute. Hopefully it'll be fine. I have got one of those emergency cans that you pump into it because these are tubeless on this bike. Uh, most bikes, smaller capacity bikes, are tubed. Like the 125 over there, that's a tubed one. So you would just take it off, put a tube in and that'll be it. So, yeah. Right, that's it for now. Speak to you later. Bye.